What's going on everyone? This is Amen from AsusTransform.com. We're here taking a first look at Honeycomb 3.1 for the Asus E-Pad Transformer. Now keep in mind this is not the final build. This is actually a leaked version. So, um, you know, what the results in the final build might not be what we see here today. But since it's going to be releasing in about a week or so, you know, we're pretty much thinking this is it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We do have a lot to talk about. Um, so the first thing you're going to notice with this build is that uh, everything just seems a little bit more smoother, uh, more fluid, uh, just faster. Faster, uh, in general because if you look at you know switching between home screens if you remember how it used to be uh, you get some jittering some hesitation some just overall lag from the device I'm not gonna say that it's completely fixed here but it's definitely a lot better and uh, welcome so you can see that I'm switching between home screens really fast I'm not I wasn't able to do that before so it definitely feels a lot more fluid now um, but it's you know I do get that you know weird occurrence of just lag so I'm, I'm not sure hopefully they fix that by the final build um, but it's definitely a lot better let's go ahead and switch between apps or the screens here it's actually more noticeable here this time in the app drawer when switching between apps um, that it's that there is more lag here but it's still a lot better than what it used to be so overall in general though it feels a lot more snappier more fluid it no longer feels like it has that beta tag on it it's you know feels like it's ready for prime time so uh, big props to asus for that so the next thing we're going to talk about actually is the browser because there's uh, quite a few enhancements there uh, that we should discuss so let's go ahead and just switch over to a tab that already has something oh, up there's my website all right so if you keep in mind here look if you keep your eyes on the right side here we have this little scroll icon now so if you hold the scroll icon you can actually scroll all the way up to the top and bottom of the page in one motion which is really nice for if you're just sitting on your bed and you just want to read the news um, just makes it really awesome to just uh, be able to scroll all the way to the bottom without having to keep flicking um, just a really cool feature that um, that I like so let's go ahead and go into the settings and we're gonna go into the labs and we're gonna enable quick control so if you guys are not familiar with quick control is uh, especially if you hold the right side or left side of the um, of the screen you get these quick controls and you're able to scroll or in, in this build at least you can switch between all the different tabs oops you can switch between all the different uh, tabs that you have open like this so you can see that it hides the menu on top the bar the address bar and you're left with this now uh, it's a little finicky uh, you know it, it takes some time getting used to uh, you know being able to go up and down take some kind of I need a lot of de dexterity for that but there we go so there we go and we can be able to switch so I mean after a while you'll get used to it um, I'm having a hard time adjusting but that's just me but it works and of course you can hold this button and it'll show you your, your address bar again. You can get your bookmarks from here, back and forward, they're all right here. And of course um, you can hit on this button right here and this is actually the menu button. You can get to your settings, downloads, uh, open a new tab, incognito mode. It's all there and it's all just right next to your finger. So. Uh, definitely a cool feature overall the browser seems a lot more snappier you can see that when I'm scrolling um, pages render really quickly uh, compared to how it used to be and just it feels just more stable uh, you know when you have a lot of tabs open uh, the tablet you, you know gets slow and uh, but you know that right now you, you don't get you don't get any of that stuff with uh, with this build so definitely a major improvement there so the next thing I'll talk about is actually the widgets um, nothing has changed in terms of how many widgets or what, are, what is included but you can actually resize them now which is really cool um, you know this is a feature that's been available since you know ADW and Launcher Pro all have them uh, but you know it's nice to see that Google's finally implemented that for themselves so it doesn't work on all the widgets it's not like I can do it on this widget or anything uh, so it's only on a few of the of the Google specific uh, widgets but that in particular that search widget didn't have that so it's a nice feature uh, to have so uh, the next thing I talk about is actually the multitasking this is something when I mean I was at Google I.O. and when they announced this I was me and my friend were screaming in joy because this is something that they should have had from the beginning you were able to now switch between all the running applications uh, that are running in the background except the la except you know not Usually it was just the last five, uh, but now you can switch between all of them, which is really nice. So you can switch between browser, and then say the last application I had open was talk, Google Talk. So that would open um, 
So definitely, it's you know a simple update, but a simple feature, but very effective. I mean, it makes multitasking uh, so much better with this. So the only problem is that sometimes you'll you'll notice some kind of uh, like when I just press the button, it didn't come up right away. So you know it could be a little bit faster. Switching between apps is is pretty good. It's not it's not too bad. It's not slow by any means, but uh, you know I just hope that a little bit. Well, this will be more optimized by the time it comes. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually the sound, and I'm not really going to be able to touch, you know, let you hear anything, but because uh, it won't pick up on the microphone. But if you guys watched my last um, video, actually, it was my initial review of the tra the transformer. One of the biggest things was that uh, the touch touchscreen sensitivity, and as well as the sound, um, I would get this crackling, popping noise every time if I, you know if I leave the, the tablet in idle for a while. Say I'm using like a thumb keyboard or something, and then I have the key sound, the key, um, the key sounds uh, enabled. And if I pause for a second in between words or in between sentences, I and then start it back up, I would get a popping sound. And that was really frustrating. It really annoyed me. And I'm not really sure why my keyboard's not popping up right now. But, um, yeah, so that's almost been fixed. I'm not going to say it's 100%. Again, it's not it's not completely fixed. But it's, it's definitely better. It doesn't happen as much. Uh, but you'll definitely hear a popping sound when you leave your tablet on idle for a while and then come back to it you'll hear a popping sound and hopefully that gets it that gets fixed touch uh, touch screen sensitivity has been dramatically improved I'm so happy that they finally got to do this um, if you can see like I'm barely tapping the uh, you know like the icons and they're responding immediately uh, usually in the previous versions you would have to touch two three times for it to work but uh, here is just it's so much better I don't I mean I don't know what they did but it's just they tweaked it a little bit and it works just fine so touch sensitivity works fine so that's pretty much it for the honeycomb 3.1 update and walkthrough uh, you know they cover a lot we cover a lot of things here today so this is definitely a big update that's coming out uh, hopefully you can um, you know we can get this on our tablets really soon the official update should be sometime in sometime in early June uh, but if you guys want to go ahead and install the leaked version of this tablet like I did you can get the instructions on my website asustransform.com be sure to check out our forms as well asustransform.com slash form and if you guys need any help with the transform at all come by stop by our forms and uh, write us a message and we'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible